Good morning, everybody. So, as you can see, bus driver drag. Um, I've been promising you guys sewing videos. I'm really sorry I keep doing haul videos, but I keep buying patterns. Uh, in fact, my last Facebook Marketplace pattern haul is what I'm going to show you guys today. And then after I did this, I'm not kidding you, yesterday, uh, today's Friday, actually it was Wednesday, because I'm filming this Thursday, going to post it Friday morning. So it was actually Wednesday. I did another deal on like 108 patterns that this woman had on Facebook Marketplace, and she just wanted to sell the whole lot. She has vintage, she had written vintage 60s, 70s, 80s, some modern patterns. So we'll see. Um, I almost want to do a live stream, but honestly, I only have, I think I'm up to 71 subscribers. I'm not sure if anybody would watch a live stream if I did it. It'd be fun, but I don't know. We'll see. But the other pattern haul I did, which was mostly retro patterns, uh, arrived Wednesday. Yes, uh, yesterday. So I wanted to show this to you guys. Um, now this was interesting because it's like 25 bucks, which is a great deal for patterns for 10 patterns, but she ended up throwing in two more patterns. One was a dupe and one was a pattern she didn't have listed on the, um, in the photo. So I'm going to show you the modern patterns first, and then I'm going to show you the, the retro patterns and we'll talk about them. All of these are going up on Etsy. None of them are really my size. There are, I think the largest size in here is an 18, not going to fit me. I'm an 18 in clothing, but I'm a 24 in, or a 22 in sewing patterns. So we all know how that is, right? So this was the first one. And this is the one that I think she kind of sent me gratis because we had a nice conversation, but it's really lovely. It's this Vogue pattern. I don't think it's super vintage. I'm looking for a date, which I don't see. Um, no, I don't see a date, but... I mean, look at it it's really nice it's just a basic wardrobe type pattern but look at that dress guys look at that dress Isn't that beautiful oh and then there's this new look another very nice dress and you can see the uh, line drawings it has a zipper in the back you can see on the line drawings now this pattern it's funny it's in a modern package but to me this looks like a, a like a 70s pattern that they reissued but didn't bother doing the vintage line drawings, especially like this here. My, I swear my sister had something like this. Actually, my sister had something like this. I remember her having like a corduroy mini skirt and it's a couple lengths, but looks like it's primarily made to be a mini or a mid thigh length. So then let's get into the vintage patterns, which I have in, oh, I actually put them in chronological order. So we have this one, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen. It's the 1960s pattern. It's very nice. Um, this is the line drawing on the back. This one, which I don't remember ever seeing, and I was looking this up online, this may not be available anymore. So, and it's kind of unusual. You see that whole thing wraps around you, and then I guess gets belted into your skirt. This one, which I wish was in my size, because even though this is a 1950s pattern, I really do quite like that skirt. And um, yeah, see, it's a it's a really full, it's almost like a, not quite a circle skirt. This is a gourd skirt, but it's really nice, right? And then here's the funny thing. This one, I had bought this one. Remember, I discussed how I decided not to make this pattern because of the gathering. So I took the one I had, which I had never cut, and I just sold it online. And then I got another one back, which is kind of funny. And it's this one. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys have all seen this one. I think everybody in the vintage sewing community has either made this or talked about this one. There's this, which is, I, you know, this is a toughie. It's got this little bolero jacket and I am just always in love with those little suits that the closet historian makes herself that are like the short sleeve suit dress. And I really want one, but this bolero doesn't button. I don't like the boxy design of this. And this is, this only goes up to a 14 anyway. I have to like, you know, enlarge it so much, right? This pattern, which it's the funny thing is, is I have this and see this shirt here, actually this shirt, not the one with the hood. That's what I think I'm going to use on that fabric that I decided not to make into a dress. Uh, the one that is the polka dot with the flowers all over it. The one I said that I felt like the pattern was too busy to make into a dress. That's actually the shirt that I'm going to make out of it because to me, it seemed like a great shirt to go with something like denim. 
it seemed like it was a good match for denim. So, uh, okay, so this is the reason I even looked at this lot. I have been wanting to make this suit forever. So I see this lot, and there's the back side of it. I see this lot come up, and I see this immediately. So I click on it, and this is a size 18, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, ooh, I could just keep this one, and I could size it up, and I could put the rest on Etsy, right? So then just for the heck of it, I go out to see if this is available in the more, in the extended size. Well, it is. And so I go out on Etsy, and I just ordered this from a woman on Etsy, and now I know how much I can charge for it based on her price. But this goes, there's a version of this that's um, in 18 to, no, this goes up to 18. So it was 20 to 24. So I snagged that one. And that should be arriving any day. So I'm not going to do a pattern haul about one pattern. But just so you know, I got this. And this is, this is kind of my goal is to be able to make myself a suit. In fact, I still have all that navy blue fabric with the pinstripe that I showed ages ago that I got at Goodwill. I'd love to make, especially, did you see, look at this suit here, the very military styled, very 40s suit. I've thought about it. So this was interesting. She sent me this pattern. She sent me whoop, two of them. And here's the line drawings for anybody interested. So, I don't really do a lot of 30s. I first of all don't like the length of most 30s clothing. It hits you kind of mid to low calf. And if you have a larger calf, if it hits you mid calf, it makes your calf look huge if the hemline hits like mid calf, right? And if it goes lower, the problem for me is because I'm so tall, it looks like I bought the wrong size. It looks like I bought something that's supposed to be full length and I bought the wrong size and now you can see my ankles. So it's kind of a dilemma. But I was so tempted to keep this because one of them goes up to size 20. And that wouldn't be too hard for me to size up. But I decided not to. not to. So these will also be going on Etsy. But I got to tell you, I really do like this view here. This kind of less... See, I don't love the... Um, these are called what? These are called mutton sleeves. Mutton sleeves. Um, I like this streamline better. You know what it reminds me of Mrs. Lemon Miss Lemon in the Hercule Poirot series, which I adore. So yeah. Um so if you watched my video from Wednesday, you saw the huge fabric haul when I was fabric drunk. Appar apparently I'm gonna get pattern drunk really soon when I get 108 patterns or whatever it is I'm getting. Um and uh getting that fabric kind of changed everything. It changed my plans because now I'm rethinking some of the ideas I already had for some of the patterns I have. And I'm like, nope, uh-uh, change of plans. We're going to do this instead. So I might shoot a whole new what are my plans video. Um, I never really shot it, so I guess I don't really have to reshoot it. But I was thinking about it. This happens to me, it's, right? Um, so that may be coming soon. And I really, I promise you guys a sewing video, but I just got the notification that like my package from Redbird Vintage is somewhere in like Pennsylvania, which means it's probably gonna be here tomorrow or maybe Saturday. So my next video might be the Redbird Vintage unboxing video, which are always fun. So anyway, if you like my videos, I promise to do a sewing video soon. But in the meantime, you're definitely gonna get another pattern haul video and probably a Redbird Vintage haul. So hit the subscribe button, like my, like my videos, and hit the bell so you can see all those. And please comment. If you've sewn any of these patterns, let me know. They're all going up on Etsy. And until then, like, subscribe, comment, and have a great day. It's beautiful here in New Jersey. I hope it's great where you are. And hey, summer's coming. Bye.